What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick one, I'll be showing you a really exciting new-ish Android feature for Android 13 and above, which is basically the equivalent of Apple's AirDrop. You can AirDrop files and things like that between your computer and your mobile device without needing a physical connection and, of course, your device to other devices. The only caveat is that it only works for Android 13 and above. As far as I know, it's not limited to certain regions anymore. It's now publicly available and you can get it set up and going pretty much immediately, assuming your phone is up to date. If you don't already have Android 13, make sure your phone is updated and assuming you have, well, we can get started. In the description down below, you'll find yourself a link to the android.com website where you can download the nearby share app for Windows. You'll need a 64-bit Windows 10 or up a computer. ARM devices aren't supported, so that's M1, Mac, etc. On top of that, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are required. Anyway, I'll click Get Started here, which will then start a download for an installer. And when it's done, we can open it up and we can wait for the Google Chrome looking installer to finish. When it's done, we'll need to sign in with an account, or of course, we can use it without an account, which works too. Then we can set a name for our device, as well as changing our receiving preferences here. We can send to any device that allows us to, and receiving, we can change it from no one to everyone, contacts, just our devices, etc. I'll set it to my devices only here, though you will need to sign in in order for this to work. Once you have signed in, you'll be able to select this, but of course, you'll need to approve requests first before you can receive files, which is good. So we can click done here and the program is running. That's it. We can change our preferences for who we receive from up here and we can drag and drop files here, select files and folders to send to nearby devices as well. If I pull up my phone and I'm on the same web page here, we can, for example, share this web page using nearby. Or if you don't see that icon, you'll see nearby share here. Once again, if you don't see it, you may have to click more and scroll through your other options here. On Samsung, you'll more than likely have this button right here saying nearby share. Now, when you select this, it'll tell you what devices are nearby. So if I were to push this across and place it next to my nearby share on my PC, select my own PC here, it'll connect. And just like that, we can accept a file. You'll see a pin between the two devices for confirmation. You can accept. And just like that, we should have received a link or whatever else we were sharing. We can open it on our computer. And just like that, my browser opens with that link. Let's share something a bit more difficult. I'll select, say, I don't know, an OSU background that I have on my computer here. I'll drag it into the nearby share program here. Then we'll be able to select what devices we want to share it to. So it should detect our device. But if you're not seeing your own device, that's probably because your phone isn't set to receive files. In order to do so on your mobile device, make sure that both Bluetooth and wireless are enabled as well as location. Then you can head into settings followed by connect devices. And inside of here, you'll see nearby share or something along those lines. On Samsung devices, you'll see quick share instead. This isn't the same thing, even though inside of it, we still have nearby by sharing. This is different. This is based off of Samsung. Instead, dragging from the top, we have nearby share here. You may need to go all the way across and add your little icon here, but this is probably the easiest way to get here. Click the text underneath the button or hold the button. Then you'll see this pop up. You can choose whether your device is visible to everyone, contacts, or your devices. I'll select my devices, choose settings, for example, and we can further customize how this works. We can change data etc. to choose whether we use mobile data, Wi-Fi only or no internet, meaning just Bluetooth and local Wi-Fi networks. Now, for some reason, I needed to set this to everyone for my device to pop up, but there you go. Here's my phone. I can select it and just like that, my file should be dropped to it. I'll accept it. The image is then downloaded and we can open it. Cool. That's exactly what we were hoping for. Obviously, you can do this with multiple files, folders, etc. Much bigger files. Then we'll go ahead and test the upload with a bigger file. For example, I'll use this 800 meg file here. We can drag it into the program. Oh, I see. I've already selected something else. Then we'll select our device here. And just like that, it'll connect to it and pick the best method for transfer. Now, with bigger files, it'll either transfer through Bluetooth or once the Bluetooth handshake is made, it'll switch to the local wireless network, internet, data, etc. Whatever one's the fastest and based on your settings. 
So I'll select it, it'll unconnect, and start sending the files pretty much immediately. It's running at roughly 50 megabytes a second, now jump to 20. Obviously, it'll be based on the speed of the device you're using, where it's coming from, where it's going, the network connection, etc. But this is really fast. Now it's dropped off a bit. Obviously, it'll fluctuate, but 50 megabytes per second really isn't bad. Neither is 20, so hey. Anyways, I'm going to cancel this as I don't have that much space on my phone. But anyways, that's really about it for this super quick guide. If you'd like to disable this on Windows, click the up arrow in the extreme bottom right, then find the nearby share icon, right click and choose exit to close the program. Now, if you'd like to not start with your PC, you can check your task manager using control shift and escape. And inside of here, head across to the startup tab on Windows 11. It'll be this icon here with the little speedometer sort by status. So everything's enabled at the top and you should see nearby share launcher. Just right click this and choose disable so that it doesn't start with your PC. Obviously, if you leave it enabled, you can drop files between your PC and your phone at any time. So depending on what you'll be doing, have this either enabled or disabled. Otherwise, you can just start it up on your PC whenever you need it from your start bar just by searching for nearby share. It should be called nearby share from Google. Anyways, that's about it for the super quick guide. So hopefully you found this useful. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.